Okay, we're back with Velvet, seven-year-old grade Arab that I've got for sale. Um, so hopefully you've seen my other video clips and whatever different things, groundwork, and I'm going to start doing some writing clips here for you. So, uh, but I wanted to show you that she's got, you know, back to some of her ground matters, you know, as far as um, halt train and bridling and what I expect of her and stuff. So um, she naturally, like most Arabs, wants to, you know, kind of react and have that head kind of high, but she softens for you. She's real soft. So... Whenever I halt her and I come out and catch her, I want that head, I want that head down here. I don't want to have to be chasing it and standing on a stool to get it, okay? Um, she's about a 14.2, 14.3 right there um, is where she's at size-wise. I kind of haven't said that yet. So like right here, if I'm unhaltering her to let her go, I bring that head around and, and, and I want her to wait and hold that there for me. And I'll ask her, it doesn't take much here, just a little bit with her head. And she knows she's supposed to be down around here. So I'll drop that halter off and then I'll let her go. Or vice versa, if I go to catch her, I just ask that head, I come around back to the shoulder, I ask that head around, I ask it down, and then I'll get that nose scooped, and then I'll ask her to put that down before I finish off and, and halt her up there, okay? So I'm going to drop her now and, and go ahead and bridle her up. Um, so just so you can see that, now I'm going to put a shank bit in her mouth, she's got a, a shank bit, correction, correctional bit here. Um, I, I bounce back and forth with my horses um, with a with a D-ring snaffle and, and a shank, a broken mouth shanked bit, you know. Um, and the reason I do that is just to keep them soft. You know, every so often I put them back in that D-ring uh, snaffle um, just to kind of soften them back up. If I feel them kind of stiffening up on me again, um, I'll put them back in that, work them a little bit, do some softening exercises just to remind them they really need to be uh, soft for me and do some exercises with them. Um, but so far, I think for this, I'll just go ahead and put her in the shank bit, and, and uh, uh, if she's if if she's feeling kind of kind of stiff with me and whatever, she's not responding, not kind of tuning in, paying attention. I'll go ahead and go back and get that uh, that D ring or that O ring, and uh, and soften her up, do some softening exercises, and I'll and I'll take that bit. Otherwise, uh, she's normally she's she's pretty good with me though, as far as being soft and supple, and. Uh, um, so we'll just see how it goes here. So anyway, as you can see, that was pretty easy there. I want her head down there. When I take this bridle off, it's the same way. I ask her over here and ask her down. That's the only place I'll let that bit just drop out of her mouth. I take it off her ears and I just drop it out of her mouth. That's why she likes this down there because that's where that comes out. Okay. So anyway, just some nice manners there. You don't have to fight her to get the halter or bridle in her mouth or her halter on. Okay. Okay, right off the bat, right off the bat, um, I'll show you here on the ground, if you remember, if you saw some of my other clips, um, you can do it off the ground, or if, if, you know, she's pretty short, you know, she's 14.2, 14.3, right at that is where she's at, um, and so she's not that tall to get on, but even if you're a pretty short person, it still might be, or, or whatever, um, you can get a stool, you can get on a, a, a trailer fender, a log. If you're out on the trail and you get off and you need to get help back on, you can just step up on a log or a stump. It doesn't matter what you're on. All you do is pick up on this inside rein and ask her to come get you, and she'll come over and pick you up, okay? She'll step right over to whatever you're on, and she'll just pick you up, okay? So you can even do that on the ground, like right there. If you're getting on on the ground or whatever, for some reason... Maybe there's a little bit of a high spot, and that'll, that's enough for you. Step on that high spot and ask her to come over and get you. She'll move over to you. You don't have to go over to her, okay? So I'm going to ground tie her right there, and she's not listening. I'll remind her right there with my finger. She's not listening, so I just turn around and snap at her. She, she'll realize. I'm going to grab this. i got a step stool here, and I'll bring out here and just show you. I'll ask her to come pick me up. So if you have a step stool like that, you know, a lot of people, their horse, they'll step up on there and their horse will avoid it and they won't get close enough or if it's dangerous, they really got to make that big step to even get on. So I'll show you, I'll just lead her around here and I won't necessarily, I'm not even going to try to line her up with that. In fact, I'm going to bring her nose into it, okay? Then I'm going to I'm gonna climb up on here and I'm going to ask her to come pick me up. See there? She'll bring that saddle right to me, okay? And that's nice, you know? Um, and then all you got to do is just step on. So if you need that, it's on there. It's built to her. She'll do it both sides. So let's say if you, you had a sore knee or ankle on your left, 
and you couldn't step into that saddle, maybe that's why you need a step up to go ride or something. Maybe you got something bothering you. You can just turn around, pick up on the right rein, and ask her over, and she'll come in the other way here. And she'll come pick you up from the right. And she can be mounted from both sides. Okay? So I'm going to back her off here just to show you. I'll back her up here. If she's paying attention, she thinks I want her closer. So I'll just back her up. Get both hands on her here. Back her up. Okay. Now, she's a little bit confused because I'm on the other side here. So I'm going to lead her out away from this. And I'll just bring her straight into this again, just like I did last time. Step four, I'm going to pick up. So I'm picking up on this side, so she's got to come around and pick me up this way this time on this side. So she's thinking I want her on this side. It's no big deal. See? And she realizes it. I'm bringing her right back around here. She'll step right back on, clear swing, clear around here. And there. So just a little bit of confusion, because most of the time you get on the left side, just like everybody getting on the ground. You just do it, do it, do it. And so that's kind of my fault, you know, you need to make sure you, you stay up with both sides. And I haven't done it on the right side for, for quite a while here. So, um, so I just took her a little bit. Once she realized what I want, she swung right around here and she'll pick me up here, okay, on the right hand side. So just to show you that is, uh, I've got that built into her too, so. So I'll take this step back out of the way here. Get this put away here. We'll go back and get get some writing done here. Just be careful. That's kind of uneven. Okay, just to keep these tapings short, uh, I'm kind of keeping them short so it's not so much watching at once and and easier to uploading so we'll go ahead and break this here and then we'll come back and uh, I'll just go ahead and get on we'll do a little bit of writing some writing exercises okay